If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Sometimes it is hard to draw a directed network and this is one of them. The reason being is this. Activity C and activity A have the same immediate predecessor that is activity A and activity A here. But only activity B is an immediate predecessor of D. So therefore, in order to draw this, we need a dummy activity. So we know activity A and B has no immediate predecessor. In another word, there is no prerequisites for activity A and B. So I just draw activity A first. And this is activity B. So in order to do activity C, we need to complete activity A first. So I just draw a line here. This is from here, activity C here. So for activity D, A and B are immediate predecessor of D. So we know that is B first. We start from B and because it's last activity, so we just join the network together. So this is activity D. And activity A is immediate predecessor of D. So what we do, you cannot draw a directed network like this. That means it's an activity. There is no activity between A and D. So in order to connect these two together, we need to draw a dotted line. And we need to show the, the directions. So this is called dummy activity. There you go. So this is a network for this activity chart. Or you can redraw and then make it look a bit better. And this is can be something like that as well. So don't forget the dotted line means dummy activity. Please take note, dummy activity always waiting of zero. Okay, so just keep that in mind because at the moment we don't have any waiting on this network. Next example. So we can see activity A, B and C. There is no prerequisites or no immediate predecessors if you like. So I just draw this first. So this is activity A and activity B and this is activity C. Now activity D has an immediate predecessor which is A. In other words, we need to complete activity A before we can move on to activity D. So it's from A here. So I just draw this out. So this is activity D. To do activity E, we need to complete activity B first. So we start from B here. So we can just draw out and connect with activity D. So this is activity E. And activity F, the immediate predecessors are B and C. We just draw from activity C first. So we just connect to activity D and E. So this is activity F. But then we need to connect activity B as well because activity B is an immediate predecessor of F. So to do that, to connect B and C together, so we need a dummy activity. There you go. Draw an arrow. So this is a dummy activity. So this show that F has an immediate predecessor of B and C. Now, you cannot draw a solid line. So if you draw this together, this is actually an activity. And there is no activity between B and F. So it goes directly from B to F. So that's why we have a dummy activity here. There you go. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. We know P and Q has no immediate predecessor. 
so I just drew this first so this is activity P and this is activity Q R has an immediate predecessor of P so I just draw this one first then this is R and S has an immediate predecessor of R now sometimes you have to draw a couple times to get your diagram correct it's not always draw once and get the right answer with activity S we need to complete activity R first but activity S Q P must be complete before you do activity T so therefore activity P Q S must be connect together so we just draw activity S join with Q first this is activity S and for T so we just draw T here somewhere so activity T and we have predecessor of S that's right and then Q but we need to connect B together and remember you cannot draw a solid line if you draw this is wrong because this is actually an activity because we don't want that because there is no activity between T and P so we need a dummy activity here so we just connect with dotted line so that show it is a dummy activity that's it that is the, the network for this activity charge. Of course, your diagram will be different from mine. i would make sure the directions, everything is correct. Or even better, if we redraw this way. So this is activity P. And this is activity Q. And then activity R directly after activity P. So this is activity R here. So this is activity S. And T is here. This activity T, a dummy activity. This is a better diagram. So that's why sometimes you have to draw first one, get everything is right. Then you redraw to make the diagram look a bit better. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. We know activity A has no prerequisites. So I just draw A here first. Activity A. And then activity B, C, D has an immediate predecessor of A. So they have the same predecessor. So I just draw this B first. So this is B. And this is C. And then D. With activity E, we need to complete activity B and C first. So therefore, B and C must be complete before you can move on to activity E. So I can start E direct from activity B first. I can just draw this or you can connect from C. Doesn't really matter. So I just draw this. So this is activity E. So therefore, to connect B and C, so I need a dummy activity. Okay, so this is the dummy activity. So that means done. See? B. So we need to complete B and C before you move on activity E. And for activity F, we need to complete activity C and D. So you can connect from activity D all the way to activity E first because we finished with the task. So we just complete this. So we can use a dummy activity to connect between C and D. So we can connect like this. So there you go. This is a network diagram for this activity chart. There you go. You can redraw the network diagram to make it look a bit better. Last one. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. Activity A and B has no prerequisites. So I just start from here. This is A. This is B. And C has an immediate predecessor. That is A. So we start C here. Just connect them up first. And then activity D. 
we need to complete activity C first. But before we can start like this, if you look at activity F, activity A, B, D should be connect together. So therefore, this D here should be at least connect to B first. This is activity D. For activity E, we need to complete activity A first. So just draw E out here first. Okay, so this is activity E. And then activity F, we need to complete activity A, B, D first. So we have B, we have D already. So I just write F here first. And then we need to connect A together as well. But we need a dummy activity. Because remember, if you draw a solid line, that means it's actually activity. So this is a dummy activity, have a zero weighting if you like. Of course, we need to connect the last two activity together, E and F. So now we just need to redraw the network diagram to look a bit better because activity E and activity F should join together because that's the last two activities. So we just join this. So this is activity I. This is activity. B. And I just do E and F first, so my life easier. So this is activity E and this is activity F. So for activity C, so this is activity C and then activity D join with activity B. So this is D. And of course, we need to connect activity I with B and D. So this is dummy activity. There you go. Then you can see we need to complete activity D, I, and B before we can do activity F. So this is a network diagram for this activity chart. Thank you so much for watching. 